Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking into things you missed in yesterday's update, including some pretty epic scenes. Make sure to watch the end and let's get started. So we're starting off small. One of the smaller changes in this update people have not noticed is the fact you do not have to pay to get out of Hyrule Park. You used to have to pay $3 to get in, which you still do have to, and on the way out you had to pay an additional $3, which seemed a bit strange, so it totaled up to $6 to get in and out, unless you drove off the side of the mountain and took your chances there, or went around the barriers. It's small, but it makes sense. Next up, we're going camping. This next feature is one that I thought they'd actually add on to the dev forums, but they didn't, and it's actually kind of hard to see unless you watch someone else do it. Basically, when you go to a trunk of either a civilian, law enforcement, or any emergency service vehicle and take something out or put something into the trunk, there is a new animation, which is just a nice small touch of realism. But it's very hard to see when you've got the trunk open because the UI blocks the animation. So these new animations are great for things like cinematics and movies and all that sort of stuff because it adds to the realism. It's another thing to show what the characters are doing and you don't have to role play it out or type it in chat, which is really nice. Arriving on a scene, these officers can head into their trunk, grab an assault rifle and prepare to attack the building if needed. Up next, this isn't really from the Police Week update, but the update one day before, which was introducing the Lawn Mowers. And a lot of you may know of this already, but they can go underwater. It's the only vehicle that sticks to the bottom, the seabed, and can actually drive. A really weird feature. I'm not sure when exactly you will use this, unless it's some sort of scuba prop that you're using for a rescue, maybe. But... There it is, you can use it as you wish, underwater racing. Following up with this small and sort of useless one, essentially once a firefighter has spawned in a ladder truck, anyone, whether you're in civilian, police, fire department or DOT, can ride on the back, on the ladder seat. Now unfortunately you can't actually use the controls, you can't control the ladder, however you can just sit on there while the firefighters drive you around and get a nice view of the city. Up next I just want to quickly talk about the handling of vehicles. Every single vehicle in the game has been updated and whether that was a good update or a bad update to its driving physics, well that really depends. And especially with police vehicles, they seem to be a lot more agile now, which is definitely great as you can see from this EVOC training session here, with vehicles able to maneuver a lot easier with tight spaces. Just something I thought I should point out. And there have been many, many other changes to vehicles. Rounding this all off with a very, very good one and an entertaining one for sure. There's this bug in game which allows you to create some pretty epic role plays. Now essentially how this works is if you join the construction team and get a forklift, then head over and pick up a pallet of your choice. What you're then going to do is exit the forklift and simply quit the job. The forklift will then despawn, however the crate will not, or the pallet will not I should say, and it will then become a permanent feature of the map until the server is shut down. And well, we created this scene, so I'll let it play out now. 